yeah, try to cover as much as we can on the, the gear. And uh, about six years ago, um, kind of started getting in more into the, the gear side of things um, in the sense of, you know, doing some riding and freelance riding and whatnot. That was that you're not biased to just yeah one thing you right know, you give yeah. kind of your idea and then yeah give yeah. people the option and over the last four years i've built a whole bunch of relationships right and as you know you can put cameras up and then day one of season as soon as the pressure hits <laughs> yeah. what's up mr tober uh not much how you doing good you good just come back from vacation did i you? did had Jealous. a blast how you feeling uh I'm recovering. Recovering good. <laughs> you have to come back from vacation to uh, recover. recover before you go back to work. So. Yeah, that's the truth. Cool. Yeah. So. Well, we got a special guest uh, today, Mr. Gabe Garish. Yeah. Uh, from, you're in Boise now, Boise, right? Now, yep. Yeah, yep. he grew up in Filer. Yeah. Um, same town I'm from. And yeah. his dad and I, we've known family for a lot of Long years. Long time. Yeah. Long time. Dad and I used to coach together. Yeah. And then he... Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how long you've been doing Backwoods Pursuit, but it's been a couple yeah, years ago. Four years in November. Four years. Yeah. So it's probably yeah, about three nice. years ago, because I yeah. think you've been doing about yeah. a year, and he, okay. and he told me, he actually taught my uh, two girls, um, Hunter Ed. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he told me about your your Facebook page, and we've chatted, you and yeah. I, since yeah. we kind of knew each other before. Yeah. And so yeah, you can kind of maybe yeah. have you talk a little bit about yeah. yourself and how you got that started, if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. It started... Uh, well, of course, you know, grew up in the outdoors, hunting a lot, uh, spent as much time outdoors as we could. And, and uh, about six years ago, um, kind of started getting in more into the, the gear side of things um, in the sense of, you know, doing some riding and freelance riding and whatnot for some folks in Boise. And, um, and did that for a couple of years and then decided to uh, expand, venture out more to more than just what that particular company carried. Oh. Uh, so I wanted to be able to, to get more full spectrum, you know, all the gear that we use as hunters. Yeah. And so I started uh, learning how to to build a website. Never done that before. Never <laughs> run a YouTube channel. Was not good with the camera. So it was a really steep learning curve the first couple of years. Uh, so probably don't watch the early videos, right? <laughs> but no, it's, 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 a, it's been a lot of fun. So just got into the just wanted to, to put together something where I could share experiences with gear, you know, what worked for me, what hasn't. Uh, try to put stuff side by side, let folks decide what's going to work for yeah. them when they're out there. Right. And that's, what uh, I, that's one yeah. thing I remember when I first looked at it was that you're not biased to just yeah. one thing. You right. know, you give yeah. kind of your idea and then yeah. give yeah. people the option. To so that's been the goal. So I started doing that and uh, started with just the website. Um, and did that for six months or so, and then had, had reserved the YouTube channel as well, but needed to learn how to run a camera first. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so edit. edit, yeah. So I did that, and then started the YouTube channel, and and kind of do both now. Try to get uh, one article and one video out each week, and oh, keep cool. the content rolling. Okay, and, so you yeah. do the so you do an article on your website. Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Yeah. And then and then you probably link yeah. your yeah. videos to that as well. Yeah, then, huh? yeah, yeah. Link back and forth. That's and, cool. Yeah, very cool. So, so yeah, kind of. Some people like to read. Some people like to watch. More yeah. people like to watch. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of yeah. like well, you know, like yeah. we were talking earlier, even yeah. like the podcast here. It's I think it's nice for the people to have the options. Some people mm -hmm. actually actually like the personal part of mm -hmm. watching it as yeah. opposed to just listening. Sometimes I'll just listen as I'm driving, even though I got it right. usually on the right. YouTube channel. <laughs> right, right. right. Yeah, for sure. I like so, that option. But been a lot of fun though. So yeah, got now I have uh, some folks writing and helping me test out, and oh, so cool. got stuff coming in that's just not myself. Other perspectives, other right. experiences. That's cool. Yeah, so so that's that's, that's been last uh, year or so. Been it's been that's a great that's idea. A good yeah. growth. Yeah. 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 So excited! Uh, lots, lots of good stuff, and right. as much time as I have to put into it is, you know, as, as you as want. I can. Yeah, yeah. Plus yeah, that, yeah. And work full time. Yeah. And family. Yeah. How many kids do you got? Five kids, and Five kids. so seven of us in the house, and keeps us busy. Oh man, <laughs> I bet that does. Yeah. Um, so, like the products, do like companies just send them to you on loan most of the time, or it's a, a variation. Does it? Uh, sometimes on loan, sometimes you know they just give it well. To you. Sometimes they, yeah, let me keep the product. Uh, yeah. Just depends on. You know, some you may not want a pair of socks back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Used. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and you do everything right. Pretty uh, yeah, much I try to any type of gear when yeah. it comes to the outdoors and right. Yeah. Hunting. So it, it, yeah, 
try to cover as much as I can, you know, down the road as we get more time and more folks. You know, they'd love to get into other avenues as well. You know, you haven't even touched, you know, fishing gear, waterfowl hunting, gotcha. you know, all that. There's so many ventures out there. So, so but, far has it been mostly like big game hunting type gear? Yeah, big game hunting, backpacking. Okay. okay. Um, you know, they kind of overlap a lot, sure. you know. Sure. But yeah, primarily big game outdoor backcountry hunting type gear you know, for the gotcha. most part. Yeah. Very cool. So, yeah, very, that's yeah. good. It's I'm, like I said, every time I went on, I remember a tent review that, yeah. that, uh, that in one of the tents you talked about, you know, I was getting ready to use, which didn't quite work out yeah. like I wanted, but yeah. for yeah. me, you know, wasn't my cup of tea, but sure. Yeah. But it's cool that you yeah. do. And you, how many, yeah. do you usually have a certain amount of products that you try? Like, five or six different ones or is there usually a number or just whatever you can get just depends um you know as you go along you know i've, I've probably you know tried out like on tents i've probably tried you know close to two dozen now you oh know? really um but it's you know, something that you know newer to as i'm getting into it i'll try to do just individual reviews as i'm if it's not something that is my primary knowledge base, mm -hmm. you know, try to, to build and grow through that and, and just do individual reviews on the products as well as the, the comparison type reviews. And um, individual reviews, you're able to get more de to more details of right. that specific product. Yeah. Okay. You know, if you try to compare 10 tents, you're not going to be able to cover a lot on That's each true. one. But right. you kind of give it. Because so, yeah. how long do you usually have your videos? Do you have a rough time? Oh, you know, try to keep it. Yeah, under ten minutes is yeah. great. The yeah. attention span is short right. on YouTube, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, some things are really hard to keep under twenty. Yeah, um, it just is. You know, if you're like we had the nineteen spotting scopes and tried to do an Jeez. overview of that, just to if you think of it, you know, if I spend one minute per spotter, right? That's not much coverage. No. Yeah. But it's still a twenty minute video. Exactly. So it just depends. But uh, a lot of that stuff, I'll try to do. Uh, the the bigger the more details on the website. Uh, oh, there you go. So that that's that's going into more details of each of those. Like with this with those spotters that we we did, uh, you know, a, a review on most of those, an individual review where it go into all the details on that specific item, the comparison, okay, and then a video to kind of wrap everything up. Nice. So, so hopefully it it works all together mm -hmm. you know, that's the goal anyways so. and do some giveaways ever i did a, a lot more of those when i started out that's what i think um, i remember yeah you did did a few. I haven't done too many lately they take a lot of time and you get a lot of just folks that are not there for any content exactly there. <laughs> yeah just you get a lot of spam and that kind of stuff so yeah. i so i didn't i stopped doing that's as much of those so we do got some giveaways coming up that yeah. were yeah probably be announcing your next week they're so. fun they're fun and, and it's just a matter of, of time you know sure. yeah how much time you have to, to dedicate to that and to, exactly. to weed out the the fake entries right. and all that good stuff but <laughs> i bet you get a lot of that <laughs> so do you do so, like a like when you're doing a review do you, do you write a list of think check off points for you yeah. know, different parts of the gear or whatever yeah a lot of times i time? will so if it's if it's a like a lot of a lot of the written articles, I have templates for kind of okay. you know, on a tent. I want to cover these topics mm -hmm. to try to keep it similar across yeah. the different tents. Yeah, you know, some are unique. Like if you're doing a hot tent review, it's not going to be the same as an ultralight one person sure. single wall tent. You know, yeah. um, but try to keep it somewhat similar. And then um, on the, on the channel, depending on what video I'm doing there. Um, I'll, I'll try to write out my my bullet points of things I want to cover, mm -hmm. but I just I, I I try to really learn the product before I do any kind of review. So most of the stuff I just know yeah. from use. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe not all of the you know thirteen point three ounces on this, you know, whatever. Right, right, so I have right. to write some of that stuff down to remember. But yeah, I sure. try to really get familiar with the product and that's good. That's our, our set out to have a goal of you know, we don't just do, I don't think I've done an unboxing video or that kind of thing. It's just not what we do. Sure. Um, want it to be based on uh, as much use as possible. Field use. Yeah, field yeah. use. And That's kind of you good. Know. You have other guys helping you mm -hmm. too because yeah. you probably don't get a lot of extra yeah. time by the time you're doing all this right. to get away. And yeah. you got kids that hunt <laughs> right. and right. everything else. So Yeah, you, well, I can only do so many uh, tent or sleeping bags reviews <laughs> per exactly. year. Right. You know, but to actually put them to good use, you know. So yeah. it's good to be able to say, hey, I need you to take this out for the season and you to take that out for the oh, season. Oh, okay. So then they just, Very hold, cool. you know, they'll have everybody will have their 
their gear that they're testing for the year and usually it's you know when i'm working with manufacturers you know saying you know this is going to be likely six months maybe a year out before that anything's published because it, we just want to put it to good use and mm-hmm. yeah and, and they appreciate that because yeah that you is you know yeah. yeah. So you yeah. contact, do you make the initial contact on most of the products that you review? Or as you've uh, gone along, do you realize, or do you see more of them contacting you, asking you yeah. to do a review on it? Yeah, at first, I, I you know, had to make all the contacts. And over the last four years, I've built a whole bunch of relationships. Right. And and for me, you know, it's an uphill battle. There's a lot of people out there doing gear reviews, gear reviews. Right. That uh, they just want the free product exactly. or whatever. And so... Um, you're, you're battling that, but yeah. at this point, uh, you know, I can, I can pr- produce the, the product that, that I'm, this is what you're going to get mm-hmm. in this review. So, you know, it's going to be good quality. I'm able to, to, you know, show, put, point them towards the website, YouTube channel and say, this mm-hmm. is, this is what we do. Perfect. Um, so that, that's helped yeah. a lot. And, yeah. and now, you know, cause they know you're not yeah. fake. Right. Yeah. It started yeah. last week. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so I mean, and it, it's a hard deal because. You know, uh, it's it's a lot of work. One people don't unless you've done it, you don't realize how much I one imagine. review <laughs> yeah. to get good pictures and good field use right. and and think about all of the details. And then if you're doing video filming and editing and setting up and taking down and because mm-hmm. you know most of that I try to do the I, I do a lot in my garage, my garage studio. But mm-hmm. you know a lot of stuff I try to do in the field if I can, you know, or take it out uh, somewhere where it's in a a, a better. An environment for for filming just depends yeah. you know yeah. on what the product is so uh, so it's a lot of work but at the same time i feel like it's you know, a better end product and than just uh you know unboxing or whatnot so exactly. now at this point a lot of a lot of people contact me a lot of it's you know uh, uh real you know cheap amazon type stuff that they um, just don't they don't have the bandwidth really? to touch yeah, yeah it's every, every week lots every week really yeah so like I, I i don't have time to to tackle some of those you know yeah but you try to be selective on some of that stuff and, i've yeah. had a couple of things sent to yeah. me and got and i feel bad because there, a lot of times been people i knew yeah and yeah, just wasn't all that great, right? You know, and yeah, you, you really almost hate even to say anything, right? <laughs> well, that's really the the challenge is, and I try to to you know let folks know up front. Say, you know, we're we're gonna give you an honest review. If if there's something that we don't like about the product, we'll we'll tell you. We'll talk to you about it. If it's a possible defect or something like that, you know, certainly we're gonna call you before we just blast something yeah. out there. You know, sure. because things happen sometimes products are defective and they yeah. need to be replaced that just happens mm-hmm. um you get to test out the warranty if that happens yeah it's true <laughs> right, exactly, right. So, right. so occasionally that'll happen but um but we really try to to give them a chance to talk through you know this you know x you know doesn't make us why does this rangefinder function this way it makes yeah. no sense to me yeah. talk to them and say well here's how we got there and then you're able to more intelligently say okay here's the design of this button function or whatever. Yeah. This is why it works this way. It might or may not be for you. Maybe it's not for me, but gotcha. it might be for you based on your experience of yep. what you need out of a range finder. Right. That makes uh, sense, so it gives yeah. us a good opportunity to do that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. That's but, cool. Yeah. That's really so, interesting and <laughs> keeps you busy. Yeah. 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 But do you see it being, could it ever be something full time? It could be. Um, it, there's, it's ways to go before, you know, there's that kind of revenue. Um, because don't take sponsorships. I've had people offer how much sure. for a review for this or that, and you know, that's probably the better way to go financially. <laughs> yeah. Than what we're doing now, and just do basically affiliate links, and you know, so if someone's okay. searching for something, they yep. find the article, find the video, and then they go purchase that. You know, through the, through one of our links, then they, you know, companies will give us. Whereas Amazon or anybody else, yeah, much luck with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's the cool. primary revenue source. Is it? Um, it's. It's a slow build kind of thing. That's right. right. It's been four years almost now, and mm-hmm. you know, and uh, so so that that's that that enables I think a better product, a better review product. Um, at the end of the day, you know, because we're not saying here really need you to buy this product right. so we get something from exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but uh, and and I, I just feel like it's a, a it provides a, a a more objective approach to. to Say you know here's all the things we liked and things we didn't right because you know you're going to be out hunting and you might not 
care at all that it has this feature that I absolutely hate right. or vice versa. Sure. And so people will fill that in for themselves and they, and they should because yeah. I'm, I'm not the one that should tell you you should or you shouldn't buy that product. Mm -hmm. I can tell you this is why I liked it or why I didn't. Yeah. And that's more. And just know, like you yeah. said, different people have different right. um, needs. Right. It's like shooting bows, you know. Right. You can't say, well, this bow is any better than I yeah. The arrow goes straight right. forward and most all and then they've all killed mm -hmm. they've all proven it, you know, <laughs> right. at some right. point or another. Right. So you gotta get something that feels good for yeah, you. Absolutely. Huh. So. And yeah. like uh, because of that, do you find yourself having so many different options to, to use stuff you don't really know which one to, <laughs> right. to use at I times? I told my brother the other day, I was like, you know, it's awesome to always be playing with gear. And, but at the same time, I rarely get to t go out into the field with what I would pick because I'm like, oh, that's right. my favorite personally. That's yeah, a good but I point, have right? all these other things I'm, I'm playing with. And oh, yeah, you got to get a review on. She's, yeah. she's like, why are we bringing a different tent every time I come? It's like, well, <laughs> because we got to try this one out. We gotta, <laughs> that's hilarious. So she's like, if you ever want me to help you set up camp, then you're going to have to bring the tent that I know because, <laughs> or that she knows. Cause <laughs> that's fun. That is fun. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do you get a lot of time in the field in to hunt? Yeah, yeah. I try to get as much as I possibly can. You know, um, you know primarily my, my my primary passion is is archery elk, um, I, but I love you know rifle hunting as well. Yeah. I've recently gotten back into that. Is uh, it was almost one hundred percent archery for about ten or fifteen years, and then the last two or three years we've gotten back into to rifle shooting and, and into well. the reloading long range and stuff, and yeah. it's its own rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, it is. No kidding. I thought. I thought uh, tuning a bow was a rabbit hole, and then we got into <laughs> no. shooting. That's that. <laughs> John just got a new muzzle loader. Uh, yeah. I did yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so Congrats. he's super, yeah. he's like super a excited. The candy store. <laughs> I am. No, mm -hmm. Well, new to me because I right. so I drew a late season uh, muzzle loader deer tag this yeah. year. I already have a muzzle loader. I've sure. been shooting for years, but I thought yeah. this is a good opportunity to just buy new ones. I've had the same one for a long time. Yeah, this is an excuse. Yeah. Well, I started looking and. There are none. Yeah. Everything is sold out. Yeah. Unless you're willing to spend, you know, twenty five hundred dollars for some top of the line. Right. <laughs> yeah. Customer. Right. So one of our our watchers on this uh, podcast, excuse me, um, happened to listen to the episode I was talking oh, okay. about wanting a new new muzzle loader. Yeah. And he contacted Daryl, knows who he is, um, and he says, Hey Daryl, John needs a new muzzle loader. I'm yeah. I've got one that I'm never gonna use. Yeah. And it was the exact one I was looking for. So yeah. it was so it, it could not have worked out any better. <laughs> That's Thank awesome. you, Eli. By the way, I appreciate you. <laughs> so And yeah. I told John when he when he when I told him about it, I was like, he goes I, I told him, I says, the thing about this guy is when he gets something, he's all in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so I says, You're you're gonna. It, he's gonna keep really take really good care of it, and right. he probably has every little gadget and you can did. think of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. He's kind of a gear. Yeah, gear junkie. Is yeah. that the proper term? Gearhead, gear gearhead, junkie, whatever. Yeah. Do you yeah. feel your? Do you feel like you're more of a gearhead now that you've been doing this for oh, four yeah. years and before you totally. started? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to realize what you didn't know at the exactly. time. Exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. Now, yeah. You, before you just didn't really have much options. Yeah. So now you're just like, <laughs> right. And yeah. there is Too a lot of options. cool things there out are. there. There are. I mean, yeah. You look at you know, if if I was you know not someone who had all this experience with with the different gear in, in all the different categories. You know, what would I what would I pick? And you know, you would just you'd rely on. Uh, well, that's the way I try to look at the reviews. Right. I would rely on if I was someone without the ability to to buy a whole bunch of tents and test them all and return the ones I didn't want, then mm -hmm. what would I want to know? Yeah. What's important, you yeah. know, uh, in mm -hmm. all those products. And it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, um, there's also, sometimes I think people buy things just because of the name. Mm -hmm. And yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure you've seen that yeah. plenty, you know, oh, where yeah. it's yeah. really not like you'd expect. And maybe the company makes a lot of other great things, mm -hmm. but not that one. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like yeah. you can find some stuff uh, that's maybe a little, little less expensive mm -hmm. than and 
quality wise be yeah. just as good as some yeah. of the more expensive things that yeah. you notice that at all yeah absolutely because i always think that you know because of youtube honestly mm -hmm. like the guys that are the stuff that they're wearing and mm -hmm. whatever they're using it's and it's good stuff no doubt right but it's like, like top of the line at the top of the right. line right. and and so those companies are getting all that recognition the little yeah. guys are not yeah so i think that that yeah yeah that's pretty cool yeah that's yeah for sure there's there's you know if you talk they say optics yeah you, know, you have the the name brand bias is heavy in optics right? sure um the ones the reviews we've tried to or that we've done we've tried to do the best we can to eliminate name brand bias. And the only thing we couldn't do is like cover them entirely so no one could see. Right. Because if you know optics, you'll know oh, that's a Swirl yeah. piece or that's right. a that's a Zeiss or that's right. a, <laughs> a Vortex or whatever you know. Well, so years ago, you didn't have much. You had like Swarovski and you know Leica, right? Leupold and there, Bushnell. I mean, yeah. there wasn't very many. And right. now there's so many. Yeah. And and some good quality stuff yeah, good yeah. good uh, bang for the buck for right. lack of better words but right. um and the the warranties across the yeah. board have really come that kind of you know vortex was the first with that yeah. unconditional warranty and now a lot of them do that yeah. they almost so. have to, to stay competitive right bows right. used to be the same way i yeah. remember for years there was no lifetime warranty mm -hmm. you know it might be one year three right. year whatever right Excuse me, and now it's like if you don't have a lifetime warranty, why are you even in business? You know, right. so yeah, for yeah. sure. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot to it. <laughs> huh. And as far as optics go, how many? Do you have any idea how many you you reviewed? Um, let's see. Our spotter project was nineteen, 19. Um, and that covered you know the the fifth. Well, the smallest one was that Koa fifty five uh -huh. up to the eighty five. So we didn't hit into the ninety fives or the okay. the really big ones. The one fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think if I, I don't know if I ever carry that, but right. <laughs> it has its place though. The ninety five. Sure. Yeah, or the big one. Yeah. The I actually have the ninety five. Yeah. And I was considering buying. Um, the uh, sixty five for backcountry. Right. And for the difference in weight, it was so little for me yeah. that, I mean, what you gain from it, right? For me, was worth it. You know, oh, yeah. there again, it gets yeah. back to personal preference. Right? Do you want to pack it? Yeah. I didn't mind because, right. well, a, I didn't really want to dump another <laughs> my own body if I could help it. But, right. Um, but yeah, it was worth it. Yeah. To me, so. Yep, for sure. Yeah. Um, on the bino side, we had twenty six in that last review, and uh -huh. and. What we wanted to do is on on those projects was we got you know tripods for all of them, but you know the binos and then the separate. So when you say the, you said twenty six, twenty six. So yeah. twenty six were some of those like two from a comp same company or yeah. were that okay? Yeah, I think there was I want to say fifteen or sixteen brands represented. Okay. So that's a pretty yeah. good amount. Yeah, I mean, basically everything I could get my hands on. Yeah, um, and which was most brands. There was a couple. That you know that we just weren't able to, but you know that that's always going to happen. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, so we basically lined them all up on tripods with with tripod adapters for the binoculars. Mm -hmm. Same with the spotters. Lined them up and had. You know, I, I'm always testing them myself, but yeah, I, I didn't want those to be. You know, here's my opinion on on something like that. So we got, um, I, I believe for both of them, like one was. Uh, 12 or 14 guys and that was 10 and everybody was out there for for two evenings uh, and we oh. were out for about four hours and just going down i had made charts i'm an excel person i'm kind of yeah. you know one of those kind of people so i made charts for everybody to, to rank and score all these different categories oh, okay. cool Perfect. so you could tell some people were vortex fans or they were this and they're swirl fans or whatever and so you could tell by their scoring but it, we did an average yeah. uh, a weighted average you know obviously image clarity being one of the primary what categories mm -hmm. average those out and came up with a score for each of them gotcha. so you know some people are going to say no nah, i like this one better and it's fine you yeah. know and some people are going to go the other way but we tried to get as unbiased of a of an average on that as we could for that for those projects and i think that's a good number of people testing yeah. them yeah that's That'll a lot bring of that yeah, yeah, yeah bias opinions. down a fair amount yeah with that many people doing it yeah so that's cool and i mean try, you, you can say it all you want but say you know the goal of this is not to you know say that you like x brand or rank this brand the best it's you know we truly want to find the diamond in the rough here is mm -hmm. there one or is it just the more you spend the better you get or, or what are the exceptions to that i mean generally yeah. that's the rule with optics yeah. sure but there's some exceptions for sure yeah so we want to try to find those and find those 
those no name brands that people haven't heard of as well. Right. Some of those perform really well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, we're doing right now in the middle of, of one for range finding binos. Uh, oh. So got got six of them right now. Got a couple more on the way, and and that's you know with with supply chain problems right now. It's yeah, been, it's been a challenge. So right, that project's probably going to kick to the first of next year before I get something put out on it. But oh, gotcha. but yeah, so it's very that's cool. a fun one. That's that's going to be complicated because there's so many dynamics and range finding binoculars that are not there for binoculars. Yeah, because uh, you can download yeah. things and yeah. all that stuff. All the and apps and the ballistic profiles if you're into long range. But mm-hmm. then also just the, the differences in glass is drastic okay. in range finding binos um, because of the range finding aspect. You right. know, different companies use different crystals. So you'll have one that's you know pretty neutral in color, one that's kind of you know, amber or violet in color, and one that's green, and then one that, and mm-hmm. so they're all very, very different. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out because it's mm-hmm. going to be very much, hey, I really hate that color tone, and I like this other color tone. So they're going to rank that better, you know. Sure. But what's, you know, what's better for right. in your own eye? I don't know. <laughs> I, it's been years ago, but I did buy a set, and um, I took them on one hunt. Yeah. The problem with that pair was, is the button was on the left. Mm. And I, my fingers aren't long enough. To, I mean, I it, I could make it work, but it yeah. was like, do I want to do this right. every time? Yeah. You know, and and because yeah. I'm being right-handed, and right. John would be great. Yeah, I would have taken him. I'd been happy to. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you are right-handed or left-handed? I am right-handed, okay. so yeah. I got rid of. So you those. felt like they made him backwards? I mean, yeah, but I mean, the button was just too. F- too far to reach. Okay. It was that hog hunt we went on. Yeah, okay. I remember it. Yeah. And I remember you didn't yeah. like them for that reason. Yeah, but, and that yeah. was all the only thing I didn't like about them. I mean, Grant, I knew they were heavier. Actually, for like guiding, the perp, they'd be fine right. for that. Yeah. Because you don't, you're not carrying any weapon. Right. Yeah. But when you're going to shoot, and, and a lot of times I'll put my range for my binoculars on my bow and then my range finder, mm-hmm. you know, but... Uh, but if I put my binoculars on, they're trying to reach over. Just too much. Yeah. yeah even the hog I killed, if you remember, I mm-hmm. had Eric range yeah. it for me because yeah. I didn't want to fiddle fart with it yeah, and right. try to reach it. For you sure. Know? Very yeah. different beast, you know. Yeah. One of the videos I'm going to do after I get through testing a bunch of these is, is just that, you know, the question we probably all have if you're considering range finding binos is what's what are they where are they best versus a handheld and a binocular combination yeah, right because there's there's certainly gonna be personal preference there but the, um, the only, yeah. and i'll just say this people agree disagree yeah. whatever but <laughs> but the only other thing i seen well, actually was guiding in uh, nevada when mm-hmm. one of the first ones came out right. heat of the moment he's yeah. going to range the bull then i told yeah. him i have a range fire and he goes oh i got these range finding binoculars yeah. blah, blah, blah. okay fine yeah the range finder didn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> it was cold, and it didn't oh, work. Right. Really? Yep. Mm. And I'm thinking, you know, this is back in early 2000s, but I know they were close to two grand then. Right. Yeah. And I'm thinking, all right, and I got my trusty one here, <laughs> and I I almost didn't take it because he yeah. told me, and I thought, I'm going to take because you just never know. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty adamant about changing my battery every mm-hmm. year. I don't care if I've used it 20 times right. or 100 times. I just do mm-hmm. I'm not yeah. going to be out there and have mm-hmm. something happen or too many horror stories. Yeah. So, uh, but he ended up having the problem with that is he ended up having to s- send it in. Oh gosh, yeah. So now you don't have binoculars or, <laughs> or range, range finder. finder. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah. And and so that's actually like I said is after that when I bought those other ones. But I even thought yeah. about it then. I thought, you know. Um, if something does happen, and then yeah. I wasn't a big fan of the button, and yeah. I thought, yeah, I'm just going to go back to the old yeah. ones I used. And That's definitely one of the downsides. If, yeah. if the rangefinder goes, you have to decide if you're just okay with a pair of binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> and then go get a rangefinder. Yeah. And so. then, you know, like you go to a 3D shoot, especially at that time, um, I was doing quite a bit of 3D shooting, and um, um, I didn't have a pair just for that. Mm. But you can't have a rangefinder on when it's just right. be mostly all unmarked. Yeah. yeah, unmarked. And so yeah. it's like gosh it could just open yeah. up a whole can of worms, you oh, know. Right. So yeah. I mean I I'm still back to two piece, you know, but not mm-hmm. range finder. But yeah. they make some good systems now mm-hmm. so everything's nice right. and handy too. Yeah. So. Oh for sure. Yeah the yeah. I've used a couple that are work real well. Marsupials. That's actually the one I used last year. So I, I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a real good rangefinder compartment. Yeah. And, along with the binos one. Nice and so, quiet. Yeah. 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 For sure. 
Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, what do you got for tags this year? Um, I'm all general season for me. Right. Yeah, just over the counter stuff. My son drew a, a bull tag here in town. That's so, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, he's yeah. 11 year old, so his first time putting in awesome. for a bull tag. So that's cool. He's he's excited. So locally down yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. That's so, exciting. Yeah. yeah. We were talking the other day with what. What's is going to be his minimum standard? You right, know, as, as, as <laughs> that'll team. change in the field, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I know. That, yeah, that could be if it's a premium unit. He, yeah, he has a chance of yeah. getting something good. You yeah. don't do no out of state. I did Colorado a couple of years ago, and I've got some points in a couple of states. Yeah, yeah. so um, a couple of brothers down, or three brothers down in Colorado. So I'm, okay. and we're planning. We've been putting, getting some points there for the last couple of years, and so we'll we'll do a big family hunt there here cool. once we get a. Your dad too is putting in with that. Uh, I don't know if he's getting any points. There hasn't has been so. Um, it's unfortunately the points game is not cheap. So right. yeah. if you do a bunch of states, as you know, then that gets adds up in a hurry. So mm -hmm. yeah, it but uh, does. but he'll he'll probably come down at least for the fellowship and hanging out with all of us oh, yeah. and doing that. Yeah, yeah. But, Dad, we killed something. Yeah. Time to pack out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call that helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. So but yeah, yeah. I got a chance to spend a little time with him. It was I think last year we met at the archery okay. range and I. Yeah. Helped him out with a uh, we checked tuning and stuff yeah. on his bow. So yeah. it was good hanging out with Heck him. Yeah. He's a good guy. He, That's fun. Your your whole family. I mean, you yeah. guys have all your yeah. kids have turned out to be just Same great kids. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, he's definitely a blessing. Yeah. We've family's very blessed and and uh, we're all you know all on the straight and narrow. I'd say for the most part. Yeah. And, you know, just uh, you know, we don't have any. Any folks that have gone off the rails too far. That's so. good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so. so at least other than me, I can't speak for right. myself. <laughs> they, you that, might be that I guy. I might be yeah. that one. You just don't realize it. <laughs> yeah, you just have, they haven't told you yet. You got a good story from last yeah. year, year before? Oh, let's see. Last year. Last year was a lot of family hunting. Um, my brother, neither of my brothers could come up. Um, and so was, I spent a lot of time hunting with my wife and my, my then 10-year-old, where I could see was... Yeah, he's ten at that time. Nine, ten. So he, his his birthday is in September, mid September. So. Oh, <laughs> dad's reaction is like, "You're having a September birthday?" Right. That would have been yeah, really. Day, but, <laughs> yeah, the twins, no less. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I was out for that September. Right. I had to push that to a rifle hunt in the October. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and sure. I was pushing it. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, so we got to spend a lot of time with them and and uh, chase some animals and almost got my wife her first elk. Um, she's, oh. She archery's. She's archery hunting with oh, me for, for a while. Oh, for archery. Yeah. Almost, cool. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So she was had her set up perfectly for this elk that was coming in and came in behind her at ten yards. Oh. And just turned the wrong way. So it's one of those. So yeah. She was. It's happened to the, yeah. all of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, I just got. I really want to get my first one. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just that yeah. experience. Yeah. So I'm sure it was. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah. We've had a few, but it seems like. Her, her joke is like, whenever I come, you don't have, don't have all the close calls and everything, you know. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. It's but it's it is you know that's that's all kind of as you know. <laughs> is she going to get back yeah. out this year? That's the plan. Cool. Yeah, that's the plan. And so. your brothers is one of them coming out? One of them was able to get a, a non-resident tag this year, and the other <laughs> one wasn't. So, uh, well, for elk, anyways, they're both coming back for deer. Yeah. You know, the rifle deer. So oh, okay. we'll do some rifle deer hunting. No, we'll do some. Some elk hunting with the other one, archery elk, and yeah. What was their response to when Idaho changed their? Oh, they loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, they were too happy about it. Yeah. Review and, that. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> as, as a resident. Yeah. <laughs> review that. <laughs> no, yeah. No. That. That is definitely. There's a lot of glitches in the system, and it's you know it's not great in some ways. I mean, in some ways, it's kind of like. You're always doing a controlled hunt, right? If you're yeah. out of state, which it's true. can be frustrating. Yeah. yeah. I wish they did something where you could do, say, a group tag or whatnot. So if they both wanted to come for a trip, they could go in together and, and they either both get it or they both don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as it is now, you know, one gets it, one doesn't. Next year might be different. Yeah. You know? So it's going to be hard to do that oh. family hunt every year. That right. Yeah, unless you're right there purchase buying them. Mm -hmm. and, and you're buying both of them. You are buying both of them. Right. The chances of him both yeah. getting that's yeah. pretty uh, slim. Pretty tough, yeah. I actually did run into your dad. I don't know if he told you. Yeah, that. yeah. We were like trying Darryl's to get some of the left <laughs> yeah, some of the leftover. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. some of the leftover tags, mm -hmm. and 
And I was actually standing in line for a friend of mine, and your dad yeah. walked up and was giving the lady all the info. Yeah. And she goes, well, you're behind him. And he went, oh, I should have known. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I even got a chair, and I was sitting down there, and he saw it. It's like, yeah, I should have known. Uh, but he ended up getting... I think he got uh, last something. week. Yeah, last week we got we got a deer tag for yeah. for the other brother. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be. At awesome. least get to have our family reunion. Mm-hmm. They'll be behind a rifle, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll yeah. be fun for sure. Do you do yeah. muzzleloader at all? I haven't. I've gone with a friend that had muzzleloader to elk tag, but I haven't myself. Haven't done that. I don't have. I don't own a muzzleloader. No. So. Have you done reviews on those yet? I haven't. You yeah. do firearms. Um, I haven't yet. I've done some scopes. Um, yeah, I've seen you done some, some of those scopes, scopes, but uh, that's definitely something on the short list that I'd like to to uh, get that's into. That's a so. big can of worms to open. Yeah, the part of me does, and part of me doesn't want to yeah, get into that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, there's a whole lot of people that know a lot more than I do about you know fire building firearms. But thankfully, one of my one of the guys that helps out and writes for me is is a firearms instructor and really into the long oh, range, good. and, and oh, so good. he really knows the stuff. Yeah. So I, he probably let him do the bulk of that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he probably he gets annoyed with me. I'm sure as I ask him so many questions. And, right. Yeah, yeah. But I think yeah, it's, fun. it's fun talking though. Yeah, yeah. fun, fun learning, talking, uh, you know, something new, something different. You know, getting back into that. So, right. Yeah. How do you do like a broadhead test? Um, I've done a few of those. Those are those those are hard because they're so overdone uh, on YouTube. You know, everybody's testing broadheads. So yeah. the ones that I've done have kind of been along the same vein. Uh, so like I did one recently for Annihilator, um, and basically I, sh- I used them for a whole season, you know, from okay. spring through the, the you know, the, the archery season and mm-hmm. shot an animal with them. And then just, you know, so here's how they did for me. Yeah. Um, and then I also did one where I had three of them that I'd used over the last five or so years, you know, at the, uh, the Annihilator and the Day 6 Evos and then the, the Valkyrie uh, Blood uh-huh. Eagles. Um, and just, you know, it shot animals with each of them. So it kind of went over my experience, how they flew, how durable they were, easy to sharpen. Yeah. But, that, you know, you can't do a lot of those. Obviously, those take a lot of years to put together. Sure. Yeah. As far as just to get the experience. Yeah, you know, the right experience. So, and now with expandables, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a whole thing. Lighted knocks. You know, somebody's yeah. saying, I need to do right, some yeah. lighted knock reviews. Yeah. There you know, used be to great. be, like, one company. And mm-hmm. now I don't even know how many there is. But yeah. I, I mean, I... Tons. Is there? Yeah. I think I could probably name two, and that's about <laughs> it. But I'm sure there's a lot more. Yeah. So, are yeah. you going to use them? I haven't yet. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a little nervous about doing that because you're going to change your FOC. your FOC. You're going to put you know ten grains on the back of your arrow. Right. Oh, that yeah. We talked about that already. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I mean, it probably wouldn't make a big difference. I shoot a pretty heavy arrow. Sure. Yeah. Um, and you know, I've got a pretty fast bow, and uh-huh. it's and so I don't think it would make a big difference that way. Um, but still, it could change the tune slightly, and I just I'm pretty dialed in right now at this, at this point. You know, late, well, late I, July. I think you know? exactly, that's, right? that's probably this year. We may not see as much. Maybe next year might give yeah. people the smart people. Not say that people that are using this year aren't yeah. smart, but unless they really put the time in to right. make sure everything's tuned, where mm-hmm. if honestly, if my if my stuff, I, I probably would have tried maybe the light yeah. knocks, but yeah. I'm dialing kind of like yeah. you, and yeah. and um, so I'm just gonna probably pass this yeah. year. Yeah, I've that, got some, I've had some for years and played yeah. with them. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I will say I was out shooting uh, John Abernathy. And I, uh, he, he films for Corey uh, Jacobson. Oh yeah. Um, we were out shooting at the 3D range and at the and whatnot the last couple of weeks, and, and he's using them. And I will say it sure is nice to watch that arrow fly. Yeah. And you can see, a, see exactly where you exactly. hit. Exactly. Yeah. You know if that if that elk or deer is in the shadows, you're gonna see that better, the hit better. Yeah. You know if you should wait or go after it. Yeah. So there's some. It's just recovery. Of your arrows, yeah, recovery. You can tell. Yeah. Yeah. After so there's that. some advantages, and which intrigues me. Right. Yeah. I agree. Like the, I, I was the same way. Like I was just thinking because when you do youtube videos that you're always thinking about filming right and so for filming aspect yeah. being able to see that arrow yeah. hit wherever yeah. i just think that would be really yeah. cool so yeah, we were i will not try them this year either though but <laughs> next year maybe yeah 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 definitely something that could be a fun project to to put together you know over the 
have a little more time. I, I, I hate cramming reviews in because you always feel like you're missing something if you try to True. get a whole bunch in testing. Yeah. You know, because something like that, you want to have it out in time for people to make the switch if they're going to. You really want to so, do it like February is yeah, or so. Yeah, I mean, even with this starting, like we started July 1st is when we were able to use mm-hmm. them this year, which doesn't give you a lot of time right. before, uh, um, you know, before hunting season. Yeah. And, and there's so many out there, yeah. too, that, yeah. that are very capable for deer and mm-hmm. antelope and some of the... But you get something a little beefier than right. elk, then you got to really be, got to really watch yeah, yeah. What you're shooting? I saw someone who were down at the the just the range, you know, sighting and shooting and whatnot, and who had already modified his knock, like drilled it out or not drill up, but put a little weight in there to stimulate the. Oh. Yeah. So it's probably going to be some products like that that come out. Oh. So you're not, you know, you know those lighted knocks are expensive. Yes, they, they are. They don't last that long. So they don't. No, that's something like I don't know what do you say, ten or twelve, fifteen hours per, and so that that's not that much shooting. So. And once once, once it's it, done, it's it, done. You just throw it away. You can't oh, replace the battery. Oh, so, well, I may not be trying them next year. <laughs> no, so, right. So it's, your cost of your arrow just went up. That's for sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> but, true. But uh, I've cried a couple times. Yeah. Although when yeah. I'm shooting at an animal, I've always said, <laughs> you know, if I hit the animal, yeah, uh, I don't care. If right. I, right. Know, if yeah. It, in the broadhead or whatever yeah, exactly I mean, grant i just want it to perform on the animal right but if it hits a rock or whatever it is what it is yeah, yeah. yep for sure yeah so yeah. anyway yeah. you got a good elk hunting story for us one of your last oh ones. let's see probably my, my one of the most memorable was my first archery bowl um had a you know got into archery and and got uh shot a cow my second year nice you know, it's just walked into it so you know get something in the books right right yeah um, and so it was, and then went through let's see i guess I'm two years in a row or something it was pretty yeah, successful pretty quickly and then went through like a seven-year drought of misses after misses after <laughs> just one of those you know i was like ready to hang it up like i can't you know so many opportunities and mm-hmm. just couldn't you know couldn't take it home and and uh so this was uh, while my wife had just started hunting and as well and so we we had went into this this place that hadn't really we'd you know driven by hiked by for a lot of years and and i just decided hey this is something she can access it's not 17 miles deep you know it's only a couple off the trailhead kind of thing and so went in there and and uh and found some elk and and just you know played it right for a couple of days and and finally was able to connect on a, a nice public land bowl and and is my biggest bull to date yet, and oh, with cool. the bow, eleven yards away, you know, oh, a frontal nice. shot, just you know, just came screaming right through a tree. That's you know, cool. And, oh. So wrote, wrote a story on that, and and that's that went over in Eastman's, and they published it. And oh, cool! So oh, that's nice. Kind of a fun deal. Yeah. So that was kind of a kickoff to to backwards pursuit as well, and and started getting into gear more after that. And you wrote yeah, the article, obviously, yeah, and it yeah, was submitted nice. to them. So it was just a huge blessing, and I mean, it was one of those things where. You know, I felt like I'd done for a lot of years everything that I could do to prepare, but just, you know, wasn't connecting, wasn't making it happen. And, and uh, so it was just, just, you know, a blessing from the Lord and mm-hmm. just, you know, was able to connect and get it done. Then went on a pretty good streak for a while, for a couple of years. And I think it's two years now I haven't killed one, so it's about time to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, or at least not a, a, an elk with a bow. <laughs> right. Elk. Yeah. But, cool. Yeah. So. Well, hopefully was, you get it yeah. done. Yeah, yeah hope so. hopefully your wife gets it done. Right. Hopefully no, my son. I, I, I'm yeah, sure his yeah, son's yeah, going to get I'm it kidding. done. He's got yeah. you. <laughs> Is Grandpa going to go on that too? Yeah, as much as he can. Yeah, yeah. He's he'll be up there as much as he possibly can, and that'd be awesome to have us all there. And um, uh, with everything else going on, do you, are you able to scout much? Um, I, yeah, I have time. Do you to use scout, that like but, gear? Take the gear with you to mm-hmm. try it out to scout yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, I try to do that as much as I can. Um, as far as needing to scout, unless we're going into a new area, we've hunted the same areas for quite a while, so we know it pretty well. Mm-hmm. Other than maybe putting cameras up to kind of see what's in the area that year. Right. Um, so I mean, if I don't get up to scout, it's not a big deal. Um, if, if it's an area that we're hunting that we have hunted before, you know, because as you know, you can put cameras up, and then day one of season, as soon as the pressure hits, then oh, every, yeah. everything changes. It all changes. Yeah. <laughs> I've, so I've done that and spent a lot of time, and then had one day of hunting. I'm like, well, that was fun. <laughs> Right, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, at least where that was, you know. <laughs> people that have got a October tag are scouting now, and it's right. 
There's not going to be. be <laughs> no. Well, no. that's like the deer, the deer hunt I drew is in mm. November, mm. and everything changes between oh, now yeah. and then, and it's just completely pointless to even. And sometimes mm. daily, and, and haven't thing, you I, said, like, you, you even, one day there'll be this buck here, the next yeah. day there's another buck there. Exactly. Yeah. You have no clue yeah. where he came from. No, yeah. exactly. So I, found, I did find it intriguing. I put some cameras last year in a new spot they'd never been in. So you know, found it on the map, hiked in, just said this looks like a good you know, passageway. There's water here, you know mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So put it in there, and then went back several times, and, and it was just consistent every day, going you know, cool. going from one place to the next. And then August hit, and it stopped. And then it was just like every three or four or five days. And then September hit, and it was not again. Really? Yeah, it was just interesting. They were still there because you could the tracks were there. Just things changed, the routes changed. Hmm. And in the, the time that we were in there, we didn't figure out their new route, uh, you know, but they were still, still in there, there somewhere, but just not their normal summer route. So. Like the good thing about John the tag he drew, I, I remember him saying that uh, the does are always pretty much in, in the, the same, same spots yeah. every yeah. year. I, I've drawn that tag this is the third time, and the first two times, you're finding the does in exact exactly the same spots right. as they were the year before, and then mm-hmm. you're just start watching those those herds and right. looking for new bucks every day yeah and usually by the end of the season then you'll get a couple mm-hmm. decent ones coming in so yeah we'll <laughs> see yeah i'm sure you'll yeah i yeah. don't know you're all you're gonna be all geared up in the last well, the first year i drew it was the last day of the season before i really? found a decent buck okay and i and i did kill him but yeah oof it was cutting it to the wire just <laughs> nothing i mean there's bucks everywhere there's bucks everywhere it's so much fun but they're all yeah you know a 140 bucks pretty good one up until right the bigger ones start right. showing yeah. up you know yeah. so yeah. yeah you just gotta be patient right and hopefully yeah. they show up before the end of the season <laughs> <laughs> do you try to show your hunts i haven't yet it's one of those things i've wanted to do um but uh i just haven't i know i've got the camera now i could do that um it's just a matter of you know self-filming a hunt or finding someone to run the camera right um that's that's the challenge yeah and then the permitting if you if you want to oh if you want if you want to you know uh, monetize Monetize it and stuff yeah yeah. so that that's the other headache that you know yeah i've heard that there's talk about changing that regulation i don't know if yeah they did change it in the national parks i think but just on regular forest service ground you still as far as i know you still have to get the permits for that but yeah, that'd be it'd be fun if nothing else. I mean, obviously yeah. you could still film for family purposes. Yeah, reasons, that's pretty. You know. That's well, yeah. and you don't have to monetize. Yeah, the, right. Yeah. So I mean, there's different. I don't know how seriously get about it to be honest with you, unless you're super big time. I know yeah. some of the big guys have gotten busted for yeah, yeah. for not getting the permits. But. Right. Yeah, it's hard to say if you want to roll that dice or not. That's <laughs> yeah. the thing. That, that's exactly you know. right. It's like you're taking that chance. <laughs> yeah. Know? Something. But it's expensive. I think it was like 150 Super, bucks a day or like, something like that. Yeah, and it depends on how many cameras, and you got to stay in a certain area, yeah, yeah, and yeah. blah, blah, blah. And yeah, yeah, it's a headache. It they don't make it easy. No. <laughs> For that part, no. You find you private land to do it on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's the best thing if yep. you can. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah. Well, then we do, do find hunt. the private land. Well, <laughs> so there's a lot of access. Yes, it's private okay. land, so you don't no, have no. to have permits to, okay. to film on that stuff. So because it's not forest service land okay. or anything like that. So interesting. How about BLM? Uh, I think technically you have to have a permit on BLM too, but and I don't know how serious they get. So all forest heard. service is way more hardcore. Yeah, I think, that's about, the only one I've really ever yeah. heard about. Is yeah. Case yeah. that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. Long answer that no, but it would be fun. <laughs> fun. But I've also heard people, you know, people I talk to, they'll say, yeah, you need to find someone to run your camera because it just will, you just will hate your hunt if, if that's all you're worrying about. Which yeah. I yeah. Totally see that. Well, you know? John, it does take the focus away. Yeah. For sure. I remember John one year forgot to shoot an animal. You're so. I did. <laughs> A bear. Yeah. yeah. Big bear. Probably would have been the biggest bear I've shot. Okay. And I was so focused on the filming aspect of right. it. It walked away before I ever. But you even, honestly didn't know it was going to walk away. You kind of thought he was going to hang out yeah. a little longer, right? Yeah. Well, I was a little nervous because my can was empty at that point, and so I knew, I was had a <laughs> feeling it might not. But I'd had a bear walk in the same way the night before, and it was a small black bear on the exact same trail. Yeah. So I just saw black, and I'm thinking it's that same little bear. So I'm just oh, I'll just film you yeah. know again. Well, I didn't even look up at the bear. I just was looking through my little thing. Yeah. My view, my little thing, my view, viewfinder, and 
Then I finally looked up, and at the same time as I looked up, it turned and looked at me. I was like, oh, there was two big bears sitting out here, and that was one of the two that I yeah. wanted to shoot. And uh, at that point, gone. <laughs> he and saw I had plenty of time to shoot mm -hmm. it. it. Kills me. He it's saw fun. you. I don't think he saw me. He just looked that way. He just was not interested to. Yeah. And no more yeah. food. Because he just—he didn't run off. He just walked. Oh. But he never stopped. You know. Yeah, yeah nothing to eat. So. Yeah. Yeah, I cried that. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I got some great footage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you shot it, just not with what you wanted exactly, to. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And my yeah. problem, more times than not, has been, if I don't have time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Which, which, honestly, most of the time, you say, I don't have enough time, but you really would have. I know that right. I've seen that happen mm -hmm. more, yeah. more times than not. You really yeah. did have more time, and people rush yeah. things and they really don't have to because right. as long as the animal doesn't know that you're there yeah, yeah. i mean most of the time they're gonna They'll stick around yeah. yeah on that same subject when i first took so last last uh podcast we did was with joel turner yeah. and and when i took his class a few three years ago whatever it was mm -hmm. in my head and somebody had mentioned it in the class was like to go through the whole mantra and all this at at an animal it's like you're not gonna have time to do all that mm -hmm. he's like yes you are and he's, you know, so he went on and explained all that. And then I was telling him during the podcast that I had got to shoot a bear just mm -hmm. like two months after I'd taken his class. And I was like, holy cow, it, and you actually do. You don't realize how much right. time you actually have right. most of the time until yeah. you're actually thinking about right. that. Right. So, well, it kind of helped you slow down, too. It did. Because you totally and the, the, focus, and, the yeah. focus on yeah. Uh, the, yeah, the whole shot. I mean, that, his system... It totally takes your mind into that zone you need to be mm -hmm. in. Right. And it's not hard is the thing once you just do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that, like you said, the whole mantra thing yeah. is just... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. There we go. Well, Gabe, we appreciate you yeah. taking the time to come down. And, Absolutely. And uh, good luck this year on your hunts. Yeah. And you're, Thank so you. you got to keep... Keep us in. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. So YouTube channel is called uh, Backwoods Pursuit. Okay, and, and web, all yeah. of them, um, yeah. website. Website is backwoodspursuit.com. Okay, yeah. Facebook page. Yeah. Facebook and all Instagram, same. all the same. Perfect. Uh, so it's all linked together there, and yeah, try to cover as much as we can on the the gear and and uh, you know try to keep up on comments and questions as well. So yeah. they interact quite a bit with folks. Do you get quite a few questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a bit. And cool. usually the phone's blowing up all the time. Right. <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> yeah, I need a quilt or I need a whatever. Right. And, you know, when, you know, what have you used on this, that, or the other thing? So Interesting. That's part of the fun, too, is help, helping folks out. You know, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, and it's not, you know, it, you could say, well, it's, you know, use this, it's the best. But it's more like, well, what, what? What are you going to be using it for? What situations, you know, to help them with? How much what's can best you spend? For them? How yeah, much can you mean a lot everything. of that is? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, cool. Yeah. All awesome. right, man. Well, thanks cool. very much. Appreciate absolutely. it. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. It's John? good to chat with you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You betcha. Yeah. Absolutely. It's interesting yeah. stuff. I'm sure we'll very have fun. Lots of chats after we get off here. So right. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks right. everyone for yeah. watching yeah. and. Smash that subscribe button when yeah. you get on the channel. Thanks, guys. Yeah. See ya. Thank you.